Hey everyone, welcome back to another Let's Meet the Women of Steam. Today we're talking about Linda Garcia Cubero, a United States Air Force engineer. Linda Garcia Cubero was born in the United States in 1958 and is of Mexican American and Puerto Rican descent. Linda's father was a United States Air Force officer and was a huge inspiration to her. In high school, Linda decided to follow in her footsteps and applied for admission to the United States Air Force Academy. Even though Linda was ranked 25 out of 485 students in her class, her guidance counselor told her she wasn't good enough to make it into the United States Air Force. Linda applied and was accepted to the United States Air Force and went on to become the first Hispanic woman to graduate in any military service academy. While in the Air Force Academy, Linda earned a Bachelor of Sciences degree in Political Sciences and earned her free fall parachute wings. Linda also went on to earn a degree in Systems Engineering from Virginia Tech. While women were officially able to be permanent military service members in 1948, they were still not allowed into military academies as those were exclusively for men. This meant that the benefits of the military academy, such as networking and gaining a social lieutenant rank while earning a bachelor degree in sciences, were not available to women in the military. This changed in 1975 when President Gerald Ford signed legislation into law that allowed women into service academies. Linda Cubero was one of the only 157 women that entered the Air Force Academy in the class of 1980. Linda became a member of the first class of women to graduate for the United States Air Force Academy. Linda spent seven years in service of the Air Force in a variety of roles. Some of her most notable were her roles as the command briefer for the Pentagon's Intelligence Task Force and her role as special assistant to the Deputy Secretary of Defense. After retiring from the military at the rank of captain in 1987, Linda went on to work for General Electric Aerospace as a systems engineer. Linda also worked as a client director for Hewlett Packard, which is a large information technology company. She also went on to start her own investment company, which helped show other military service women that they could have successful careers after their service ended. Linda continues to be an inspiration to Latinx Americans who wish to do military service. She has served as a mentor to many Hispanic Air Force cadets and does volunteer work for the Hispanic community. Linda continued her public service by serving as an appointee by President Obama to the visitors to the United States Board. Linda has received many awards for her work and was granted the Hispanic Engineer National Achievement Pioneer Award in 1991. She helped design a commemorative stamp to celebrate Hispanic service members and was also named one of the 100 most influential Hispanics in America. Linda continues to serve her country and promote civil service. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on Linda Garcia Cubero. I think she's a great role model for Hispanic Americans as well as those who are current or future military service members. See you next time.